Welcome everyone to the Monsters Treasure Guide. From this video, you will learn about prophecy called Monsters Treasure, which includes the following. Monsters Treasure is a prophecy and prophecies in this game are player visions of the future. This prophecy replaces the monsters within the map with 36 strong boxes. So how can we obtain it? Prophecy can be purchased from an NPC called Navali with a silver coin. A silver coin chops throughout the game from various monsters. It is however possible to buy prophecies from another player because you can seal them at Navali and then trade them to another one. Alright, so now let's go over what you need for the prophecy. For this one, you will need a map device and any map of your given choice. However, keep in mind you should use a higher tier map for this purpose. I would recommend a tier 10 or above. So how does this all work? Here's a short description on how it works. Making this prophecy work is a lot easier than you may think. All you need to do is use the map you chose on the map device while having the prophecy active. In case it happens that you do not get the prophecy within the given map, you'll need to try a new one. A friendly tip, if you decide to use the same map again, you should always seal the prophecy and then use it again. The way to tell if the prophecy was successfully activated is by looking at the right hand side. It would tell you prophecy fulfilled monstrous treasure. So we have now covered the most basics of this prophecy. Let's now go over how to get the most out of it. Crafting a high map quality. Make sure to chisel the white map before you use alchemy on it, giving it an extra 20% to start with. If you're not happy with it, use Orb of Scour and then alchemy again. I would say roughly around 90% or above is already pretty good. You may choose to also Val Orb, giving the map an even higher quality but typically you would end up with mods that you don't like on the map so it is not the recommended way strong box monsters have 500 percent increased item quantity this can be achieved by using the master cartographer on a map within the atlas it will grant an extra mod to the surrounding maps it may be slightly difficult to get but it's well worth it as it makes you get tremendous amount of more loot out of each strong box you open. Try using the cartographer on different maps surrounding the one you want to run. This way, you higher your chances of getting it. Choose a map carefully. The choice of course is all up to you, but you should choose to run a certain map over the other one. Consider maps that have higher potential outcome. I suggest you choose one that can chop more expensive divination cards. So before you head into any of the maps, make sure to have a set of these items with you. You should use them to get the most out of the strong boxes. We'll now talk about different mechanics that you can use with the strong boxes within the map and certain things that you should avoid. So after the prophecy is activated and you're ready to open all those shiny boxes, there's still some methods that you should consider and some things that you need to avoid. Identify the chest for potential threats. I recommend you should always identify any strong box as some of the mods can be very lethal, and since you're limited to portals, you should be careful. Here's a list of some of the things that you should avoid. Floating corpses. Be very careful if a chest has this mod. Stay away from the dead corpses after you have killed the monsters. Ice Nova. After you open the chest, make sure to run as far as you can from it. It should be pretty safe to have the chest off the screen. 
Before going close again, you should wait a few seconds for the ice nova blast. Freezes. Upon opening a chest, sometimes it can freeze you. For that reason, make sure to carry an anti-freeze potion with you or an item. Poison cloud. Some chests can create a poisonous cloud around itself upon open. This cloud stays there for a while. As it does quite a bit of damage, I suggest you wait until it ends. And as the last hint guys, here's the recommended way of dealing with the strong foxes. Starting from the white, always alchemy any white strong foxes you find. Blue or magic strong foxes. You should identify them first and then use orb or scour to turn them back to normal. Then use the alchemy to make them rare again. This way you get the most out of it. Engineer's orb. This is really optional. Before using alchemy on a white chest, you may decide to use engineer's orb to slightly higher the quality of the chest. Remember to always use engineer's orb on a white strong box because each orb will then grant 5% on use. If you use it on a, any other version, such as magical or rare, it would only grant 1% on this. So happy chest opening fellow exiles, and I wish you the best of luck.